Hello everyone! Today in this video I will be talking about the four types of overfishing. To illustrate them I will be using the state of New South Wales in Australia as a case study. Australia's fisheries are considered to be one of the best managed in the world. However, this does not mean that they are not vulnerable to overfishing. The country with the third largest exclusive economic zone in the world is unfortunately surrounded by waters low in nutrients. Low nutrients means that there is little phytoplankton and zooplankton, the organisms from which the small and marine species feed. Therefore, all of the marine fauna around Australia is not as abundant as in other parts of the world. But Australians love fish, prawns, mollusks, lobster and many other types of marine fauna. Australia's residents on average eat 25 kilograms of seafood per year. I guess it is clear what the conclusion is, right? It does not matter how efficient Australia has been in controlling its fishing activities, the conditions it faces will always make it very hard for them to eradicate overfishing completely. Waters without an abundant supply of seafood by the high demand have pushed the country to have various of its marine species in danger of stock depletion. This takes me to the first type of overfishing, stock overfishing. Whenever a person is asked, what is overfishing, and she or he responds, catching too many fish and making the populations decreasing number, they are actually referring only to stock overfishing. Australia, and specifically New South Wales, experiences stock overfishing of many marine species. Five of the species that the Australian Conservation Society asks its population not to consume because they are endangered are the Molloway, the yellow kingfish, many kinds of snappers, the silver trevally, and the sea cucumber. After a visit to Sydney's fish market, I was surprised to find that every single stand had a large amount of three of these five species. The malloway, the silver trevally, and the snapper. The second type of overfishing, known as growth overfishing, is defined as the reduction in numbers of big fish first. Again, the Sydney fish market was a good place to see that this is happening in New South Wales. Most of the fish sold were medium to large size. However, we could find a lot of other medium sized and small sized baby fish or species that were under protection, such as the snapper. The industry sells baby snappers because they have already reduced the stock of the larger fish a lot but have a high demand to satisfy. Growth overfishing and stock overfishing together are reducing the quantity and size of fish available in New South Wales. This has a large effect on future generations and leads to the third type of overfishing. Recruitment overfishing. This is defined as fishing that creates an imbalance in the fish populations due to fewer juveniles because of fewer eggs. Thankfully, New South Wales has a fairly good management of its fisheries and does not have many problems with the last type of overfishing, ecosystem overfishing. This occurs when a species is reduced so much that an ecosystem is disrupted. Overall, New South Wales experiences overfishing. However, its situation is not as critical as many other coastal cities around the world. To learn more facts about this issue in New South Wales, and the approaches that the government is taking, please watch the video suggested in the description. Thank you very much for watching.